can you be your most wild, unadulterated self? In order to be yourself fully, a lot of people say, well, you can't care about what other people think. Sure, no problem. I just won't give a crap what anyone thinks about me, even though a lot of the things I do are to make people like me, think I'm smart, or sexy. If you want to know the secret of not caring about what other people think of you, I have it. I'm over here. If you want to truly think that what other people think doesn't matter, then you have to realize that the real secret is that what you think actually doesn't matter. All of our thoughts are constricted by the limitations of our language because language comes from the ego because we are using words in order to communicate and anything that we say from words in our heads is also coming from the programming that we've had from our culture so true spiritual wisdom doesn't come from anything that we are communicating with our mouths it comes from the communication that happens beyond our mouths and if you're like what are you talking about i'm saying things that are interesting all the time well i was once on a 10-day silent meditation retreat and i had to realize the nature of my own thoughts and would you like to know what i thought about while i was supposed to be meditating i thought about what i was gonna eat i thought about things i regretted from the past things that stressed me out about the future and i thought about what i was gonna wear 7,000 times a day. Fast forward a couple years, I did another meditation retreat, and I was like, Tony, you wasted so much time thinking about what you were going to wear. This time, even though you're there for 10 days, you're only going to bring one outfit to wear. You want to know how often I thought about clothes at retreat? I thought about what I was going to wear about 7 million times a day. Even though I only had one outfit, I still contemplated it. After those experiences of being silent and observing my own thoughts, I had to be honest with myself and say, Hey, Tony, about 98% of the things you think is absolute garbage. My thoughts are cyclical, repetitive, boring. And even though that's kind of like a depressing thought, at the same time, if what I think doesn't matter, then what anyone else thinks truly doesn't matter. Once I truly accepted that all my thoughts were an illusion and that my true self is something beyond my thoughts and my words, then I could actually be myself and not care about what anyone else thought about me. Of course, not all the time. I mean, sometimes I care about what people think about me, including you, but it's a work in progress.